our primary on May 22nd, 2018. We're going to be hearing from our candidates for jailer of Franklin County. These forums are provided as a public service to help the community do the best possible job of selecting who will represent our interests in these elected offices. I'm Janet Meyer and I want to thank all of our sponsors, the Frankfurt Plant Board, the Frankfurt Area Chamber of Commerce. We appreciate the uh, hotel giving us the opportunity to use their facility. Uh, we're going to have statements from our two candidates here, and then we will uh, get on to some others where we have questions. This is an opportunity for our candidates uh, to let you know who they are and what they might be planning to bring to this office. Uh, they drew for position on this, so we will hear first from Rick Rogers. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. I am Rick Rogers, your current Franklin County Jailer. I was born and raised in Franklin County and graduated Franklin County High School in 1994. I attended Eastern Kentucky University and majored in criminal justice. I'm a United States Marine Corps combat veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom, where I served as a military policeman. I started at the Franklin County Regional Jail in 1999 under Jailer James Kemper. I worked my way up to Chief Deputy under Jailer Ted Hammermeister. In 2007, I was hired by late Sheriff Steve Clark as a deputy sheriff, and after graduating the police academy, I worked on third shift as a deputy until I was promoted to detective. In 2015, I was elected as your Franklin County Jailer, and I've served in that capacity ever since. I'm married to Shannon Rogers, a registered nurse. I have two kids, Jackson, age 17, and Reese, age 13. My parents are Joe Pat and Mary Rogers, both retired state government workers. I'm a member of the Elks Lodge, American Legion, VFW, FOP Lodge 87, and I also serve on the board as a member of the Kentucky Jailers Association. I've dedicated my life to public service in this community. I have over 20 years of law enforcement and corrections experience, which I think makes me uniquely qualified to continue serving as your Franklin County Jailer. I encourage you to compare my training experience with that of my opponents. I think that you'll find them the only qualified candidate to serve as your Franklin County Jailer. I have the full support and endorsements of former jailers James Kemper and Ted Hammermeister, and I also recently obtained the endorsement of FOP Lodge 87. My administration has saved the taxpayers over $1 million in my first term. And if allowed to continue, I will be responsible taxpayer dollars and continue to run a jail that you could be proud of. I humbly ask for your vote and continued support on May 22nd. Thank you. Thank you. And next we will hear from Tracy Hopper. Tracy, it's good to see you this evening. Have at it. Thank you. Um, thank you guys for having me here today. My name is Tracy Hopper. I am seeking the office of Franklin County Jailer. My family um, came to Franklin County in 1972. In 1987, after leaving high school, I went to work at the jail when it was still in Catfish Alley. I wasn't old enough to work on the secured side of the jail. I worked in the administrative office. When we moved up to the new place in 1987, I was there when we opened the doors. I stayed, at, I stayed at the jail, started a family. I'm married to my husband, Terry Hopper. We have two children, Jessica and Greg, and I have two grandchildren. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to uh, ask you to go to my website. I could sit here and tell you my pedigree, but I would rather talk about some, some of the th things that qualify me for the jailer, for this position as your jailer. Again, I said I worked, I started there, I watched the uh, policy and procedures come and be implemented. I have uh, watched for the last five years as a pretrial officer here in Franklin County, in the front row seat of the jail, going in the jail in the morning at 6.30, again in the afternoon. Um, training. Transparency and inmate programs are a big um, concern of mine. That's the platform, the things that I'm running on. Inmate programs are missing one big thing, and that is female inmates. 
transparency is a big issue. Go to my website, tracyhopperforjailer.com. I've posted all four years uh, since 2014 of the jailer's budget. <clears throat> and I would like at that time for you to look at those. I can't make those numbers up. They were given to me through fiscal court and look at the budget. And I would say, show me the money that you've saved because the budget has increased every year. The employee salaries have increased every year. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy, and thank you, Rick Rogers. We also want to thank uh, the Frankfurt Plant Board and the Frankfurt Area Chamber of Commerce for making this forum possible for all of us to get to know our candidates. Uh, we want to thank the panel, uh, and we want to wish you best of luck. We also want to uh, remind everyone to please watch for the Cable 10 live returns from the election on May the 22nd. So tune in to Cable 10 to get the results of what you're hearing here this evening. We hope this has helped to clarify things a little for you. We appreciate your participation in this, candidates, and we want to wish everyone a very great evening and good night.